Hey guys, in this video I'm testing out an Opel Astra from 2006 with a 1.9 diesel engine and a manual transmission. Believe it or not, I'm driving a cabriolet for the first time, so I'm pretty excited. Before you hop into a convertible, make sure that you are wearing a hat and sunglasses. If there are over 30 degrees Celsius like there were when I reviewed this car, it's pretty painful without a hat, trust me. The car that I'm reviewing today is full option. It comes with a hardtop roof, great sound system, full leather interior, 17 inch alloy rims, heated seats and the list goes on. The interior is the best part of this car, glossy black and brown leather with full options. And it's a convertible, so what else do you need more on a hot summer? I'm not a great fan of Opel, but I have to admit that any brand with full options looks damn good and this car over here is no exception. This car right now has over 200,000 kilometers on board and you can buy one at around 6,000 euros, which isn't that expensive in my opinion. I really didn't like the noise inside the car when the top was up. The elements were making a ton of noise and on a longer journey it could be a pain if you're driving on a bumpy road. I don't know how soft top convertibles feel like, but I'm pretty sure that they make less noise and they have cheaper maintenance. The top goes down in around 30 seconds. I didn't check to see exactly, but it seemed pretty quick. The car itself can make you have a ton of fun. It's a convertible, so it's great to have it during summer. It has a hard top, so it's drivable during winter as well. Performance isn't an issue here with 150 horsepower, you can sprint from 0 to 100 km per hour in around 9.5 seconds and fuel consumption is pretty decent. So should you buy a convertible like this one? Well, I wouldn't necessarily buy one because I'm not interested in convertibles, but for a second car just for fun during summer, it could be a great purchase. You have to be careful when you wash the car, if you place the water jet too close, you might get water inside, so before washing it, tell the employees to pay close attention. So this is my quick review of the Opel Astra Cabrio, if you have any questions leave them down below. Subscribe now for more car videos and I'll talk to you guys soon.